we went out on my first trip of my life as far as Dragon goes and uh, filled the boat completely full. Dover and Black Cod. And it was really impressive to me that we could literally go put on this poundage of these fish and be back in in two days. And I'm, oh, you know, even as third guy on the boat, I still made a couple 2,500 bucks or something. And for a young guy to be able to go out and make 10 to $20,000 a month, that's pretty appealing. It's gotten to where it's pretty tough to find young blood that's, you know, interested and wants to stick with it. It's pretty tough on the captains and boat owners when we invest all this time and energy into training somebody and then they don't stick and stay. After the first month or two, it's not as hard as it seems. Once you get used to the boat and things moving around and a moving platform that you're working on, you can uh, make good money and not work too damn hard. Trying to find those guys where their heart is in it is pretty tough. But I think that if there was an available program out there like we're trying to put together where they could be online and go, hey, there's a training program here that says, you know, they'll train, that'd probably draw more people into our industry. We're putting together people that are, you know, involved in education and we're putting together people like me that are in the industry and obviously government because we need funding and that's who we're presenting this to is and it's Oregon and Washington that are getting together and doing this and our goal is is to put together a curriculum so that somebody that might not even be connected to an ocean or know anything about it can sit down and see this training program this apprenticeship program basically get paid as you learn this industry the whole idea is, is if we want the fishery to succeed and grow and become profitable like it needs to be, you got to have young blood involved. There's got to be somebody to hand it down to. And uh, in order to do that, we got to be able to get the word out to people. And anybody that wants to get trained in the industry is going to be able to, you can walk down the dock and talk to me personally or anybody that's on one of these boats and ask for Ray Graves and we'll be available to start training new people that are serious about getting into the, the industry. You know, it's no joke, it's hard work, but it's got its own relaxing components to it too. When I leave this dock and I get out there, it's like tranquility to me. You know, everything is more peaceful. It's less chaotic. It's got its own zen to it when you're on the ocean. There's a certain set of, you know, freedom involved with being a dragger.